Good afternoon children. Well I've left my recorder in the other room and I can't be bothered to go and fetch it so I thought I'd use this instead. This I played to you the other day and it's the tune to Hey Jude so shall we sing it? Hey Jude because it's a bit like me because my name is Judy so here we go. Hey Jude, don't make it bad Get a sad song and make it better Remember to let her into your heart Then you can start to make it better Yay! So, it's Friday today And that means it's nearly the weekend So I might have a day off But then again I might not Apparently it's going to be sunny this weekend So I expect you'll all be out in your gardens but not going too far because you know what they say, stop at home. Anyway, here we go. Today I thought we'd have Millie Molly Mandy so I think we better have Victoria's Dolly today. Hello Victoria's Dolly. She can be our guest sitting with Lamb Chop and Rabbit. He's a bit lopsided. And I've got this nice hat on that's going dingly ding on the radiator. Right. Okay, are you ready? This is Millie Molly Mandy. And I bought this when I thought Annabelle was coming to stay. And then she wasn't able to. So I don't know what happened. Probably something went wrong. Like it has outside today. It means we can't go anywhere, can we? So we have to communicate over video and chatting to each other and I want you all to send me lots of messages because I miss all of you lots and lots and I'd love to have a big cuddle and when this is all over we'll have a massive cuddle and a great big party for all of us won't we anyway for now this will do so grandma's story time and are you sitting comfortably then now begin and this story is called Millie Molly Mandy spends a penny and a penny then was not, was quite a lot of money um, these are quite old stories and probably it was more like 50p she would spend rather than a penny once upon a time Millie Molly Mandy found a penny in the pocket of an old coat Millie Molly Mandy felt very rich indeed she thought of all the things she could buy with it and there were so many that she did not know what to choose. That's the worst of a penny. So Minnie Molly Mandy asked everybody with whom she lived in the nice white cottage with the thatched roof what they would do if it were her. Put it in the bank, said Grandpa promptly. He was making up accounts. Millie Molly Mandy thought that was a wise idea. Now, Big Grandpa, who some of you will remember, who was Grandpa's daddy, he was an accountant and he would have said that, I'm sure he would. Buy a skein of rainbow wool and learn to knit, said Grandma, who was knitting by the kitchen door. Millie Molly Mandy thought that a good idea. I think that's quite a good idea because I like knitting. Buy some seeds and grow some mustard and cress, said Father, who was gardening. Millie Molly Mandy thought that was quite a good idea. Now your grandpa would think that was quite a good idea because he likes gardening. He's planted lots and lots of potatoes. We're going to be overgrown with potatoes this year. Perhaps we'll have a potato party. Buy a, buy a little patty pan and make a cake in it, said Mother who was cooking. Millie Molly Mandy thought that a very good idea. Or Auntie Sarah, she would like or Sarah, if Sarah's your mummy, she would like to buy a patty tin, I'm sure, because she loves baking. She makes the most amazing cakes, and I'm sure all of you do, but she's pretty good at it. Save it up until you get three, and I'll let you buy a baby duckling with them, said Uncle, who was scooping out corn for his chickens. Millie Molly Mandy thought that an excellent idea. Well, Unfortunately, buying a baby duckling is not a very good idea unless you live in the country. But she did. Get some sweets, said Auntie, who was very busy sewing and did not want to be interrupted. Millie Molly Mandy thought that a very pleasant idea. And yes, sweets are pleasant, but you have to clean your teeth afterwards, don't you? 
Then she went to her own little corner of the garden for a think, for she still could not make up her mind which of all those nice things to do. She thought and thought for a long time, and then, do you know what she bought? Some mustard and cress seeds, which she planted in a shallow box of earth, and stood in a nice warm place by the tool shed. There we are. And if you get some mustard and cress seeds, you've probably tried. Little cress seeds grow very easily, even on a bit of cotton wool. She watered it every day and shaded it if the sun was too hot. And at last the little seeds grew into a lovely clump of fresh green mustard and cress that made you quite long for some bread and butter to eat it with. When it was ready to cut, Millie Molly Mandy went to Mrs Moggs, their neighbour down the road, who sometimes had summer visitors. Mrs Moggs, said Millie Molly Mandy, if you should want some mustard and cress for your visitors' tea, I have some to sell. It's very good and quite cheap. Why, Millie Molly Mandy, said Mrs Moggs, that's exactly what I am wanting. Is it ready for cutting now? So Millie Molly Mandy ran home, borrowed a pair of scissors and a little basket, and she snip snipped that lovely clump of fresh green mustard and cress, all but for a tiny bit for her own tea, and carried it to Mrs Moggs. And Mrs Moggs gave her two pence for it. So that would be like having a pound or two pounds. So Millie Molly Mandy had done one of the nice things and spent her penny, and now she had two pence. Then Millie Molly Mandy took one of the pennies to the village shop and she bought a skein of beautiful rainbow wool. A skein of wool is like a long, um, um, instead of a ball of wool, it's a long thing of wool. And you can hold it round your arms and then make it into a ball of wool. It's quite an old fashioned thing, but I don't see it much now. Um, Grandma, she said when she got home, please will you teach me to knit a kettle holder? Now, where was I and I was teaching? I went to stay with Louise and Dan and I was teaching Leon how to knit. I wonder how Leon's getting on with that knitting now. He was quite good at it, weren't you, love? Yes. So Grandma found some knitting needles and showed Millie Molly Mandy how to knit. And though it had been undone several times at first, Millie Molly Mandy really did knit a quite, quite a nice kettle holder and there was just enough wool for it kettle holder you see so that you could hold the handle of the kettle when you put it on the stove whereas then that's what you used to do now we just plug it in so we don't need a kettle holder but you could make a saucepan holder I suppose da, 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 da. when she had put a loop in one corner to hang it up she went to mother who was just putting potatoes on to boil mother said Millie Molly Mandy would you link, think this would you think this kettle holder worth a penny? Why, Millie Molly Mandy, said Mother, that is exactly what I am wanting, for my old one is all worn out, but the penny only pays for the wool, so you are making me a present for all your trouble. And Mother gave Millie Molly Mandy a penny and a kiss, and Millie Molly Mandy felt well paid, because kisses are worth more than pennies. So Millie Molly Mandy had done another of the nice things. She had spent her penny and learnt to knit and she still had her penny. Then Millie Molly Mandy took her penny down to the village shop and bought a shiny tin patty pan. And a patty pan is for making cakes in, one of those circular pans that you make cakes in. When we make cakes we tend to make little cupcakes, don't we? And we have lots of fun doing those, right. Oh, da, 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 da. And I know you all like chocolate cakes, don't you? Some people like chocolate cakes with custard and a Maltese on the top. Elliot, you like that, don't you? You did a whole recipe and then Leon did one, nearly the same, and it had lollipops in it. So that was really good because you're both clever boys. Um, 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 um. So she took her penny down to the village shop and bought a shiny tin patty pan and the next baking day mother let her make a little cake in the patty pan and put it in the oven and it was such a beautiful little cake and so nicely browned that it seemed almost too good to eat. Millie Molly Mandy put it out on the windowsill to cool. 
There she is, finding the penny in her pocket. Presently along came a lady cyclist and it was a very hot day. She stopped at the nice white cottage with the thatched roof and asked Millie Molly Mandy's mother if she could have a glass of milk. And while she was drinking it she saw the little cake on the windowsill and the little cake looked so good that the lady cyclist felt hungry and asked, asked if she could have that too. Millie Molly Mandy's mother looked at Millie Molly Mandy and Millie Molly Mandy gave a gulp and said, Yes. And the lady cyclist ate up the little patty cake and she did enjoy it. When she had gone, Millie Molly Mandy's mother took up the pennies the lady cyclist had put on the table for the milk and the cake and she gave one to Millie Molly Mandy because it was her cake. So Millie Molly Mandy had done yet another of the nice things and spent her penny but still she had her penny. Then Millie Molly Mandy took her penny down to the village shop and bought some sweets. Lovely big aniseed balls that changed colour as you suck them. I remember those when I was a little girl. I used to like aniseed balls, which you get there about that size. And they were red. And when you sucked them, they went white and red and white and red. And then in the middle is a tiny little aniseed nut. But you don't want to eat too many they're very sweet. She would not eat one until she got home and then gave one to grandma and one to grandpa, one to father and one to mother and one to uncle and one to auntie and then she found there were six for herself so she ate them and they were very nice. So Millie Molly Mandy had done another of the nice things and spent her penny but she still had one penny from the mustard and cress. Then she went to grandpa and asked him please to put it in a bank for her. And then she went to Uncle. Uncle, said Millie Molly Mandy, I've done everything with my penny that everybody said but you. And though I can't buy a little baby duckling yet, I've got a penny saved towards it in the bank. And it was not very long before Millie Molly Mandy had saved up to three pence. And then Uncle let, um, her uncle let her have a little yellow baby duckling all of her own. And there it is. Wasn't that a nice story? We'll have to try Millie Molly Mandy again, don't you think? So, what shall we do? It's time to go. We will raise a little glass with the bear. Yay! That was very good. And we'll have a little nap. Bye, children. See you next time.